welcome to LT Outdoors, the channel with everything the outdoor world has to offer. Gotta be an 11. Wow, wow I've never seen one that big. <laughs> Sun oh is God. coming up, Bob is going down. Look at that. Fish are all abiding and jumping all around. Let's hook up the boat, come on, let's go, it's time for LT Outdoors, I'm talking. LT Outdoors, might go hunting, fishing, metal detecting, might even do a little fortune too, I'm talking. LT Outdoors, I hope you enjoy the show. Get a load of that. Okay guys, I'm going to be trying something a little different for dinner today. You may be wondering what this is. For those of you that don't know, this is the beaver tail. Um, I've heard of a lot of uses for this. Actually, my buddy Bill from Alpina just got a couple from me and he's going to have a cell phone case made out of it because this is a type of leather um, so it can be used to make things it can be used to make things but it's also supposed to be really good to eat um, which I would have never guessed because I have skinned it before and to me it all just looked like gristle but from every everybody I've talked to that's that eats it um, they tell me that it tastes like steak fat, which not everybody likes steak fat, but I do. I always eat the fat off my steak. In fact, the fatter the better, I think. So I am going to sit here and take my time. I'm not going to show it all because it's probably going to take me a bit. But I am going to take the skin off of this tail. I'm just going to probably strip it down the middle like, like I'm doing here, all the way down. And I'm just going to keep skinning it out. And uh, I actually have a steak tonight that I was going to cook up anyway, so I'm just going to fry this up with a steak. And uh, I don't know, we shall see what it tastes like. If it tastes as good as people say it is, then... I'm going to start saving every dang one of them because, like I said, I am a big fan of steak fat. I can tell it's, a, it's definitely not easy to skin these out, but you know, sometimes the best stuff you have to work for. Looks like I'm almost through right here. So, yep, I'm through right there. So I don't think, I think it's just going to be this bit in the middle here. So yeah, I'm just going to continue this, guys. I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Guys, now, because there is still a tailbone that goes down the middle, um, I'm actually just basically filleting, almost like I would a back strap off of a pike or something. Um, I'm just taking this piece here out along the tailbone. This is as good as they say it is. Next time I'll be uh, a little more careful about not wasting any of this. <laughs> That's just tearing out. This is what I got off the other side. Um, yeah, next, next one I do, I've got another smaller one there I'll take my time on trying to get it out a little better but um, these should still fillet, uh, fry up pretty good also what I'm gonna do um, these are those chunks that I cut out of there I think I think I can fillet them like I do my fish let's see Now I know this works as a good ice fishing bait, but if it's cut into pieces, fish will love it. Yep, sure enough. I'm able to kind of fillet the little bits off of there. 
I'm sure if I took my time, I could get a lot more meat than this too, guys. These tails are pretty dang big. It's all like a fat, really. But it's not very greasy. Definitely like coon fat. All right, guys, this is what I ended up getting out of that beaver tail. So I am gonna toss this in with some butter um, and another steak and some uh, mushrooms. We're gonna fry this up. This is kind of crazy, guys, because I'm frying this beaver tail up. And honestly, I mean, if you look at it, it looks like bacon. It's frying like bacon. It's getting almost like that rubbery, I don't know. I don't want to overdo it because I don't know how, you know, this could get really tough or something. I don't, I don't want to do that. These dark things in here, just some mushrooms I had in the fridge, but I'm just going to fry these up a little and then I got a steak I'm going to throw in here too. But I don't want to overcook it to try it. <laughs> See what it's like. All right, guys, I cooked up a really good steak here with some, uh, I actually got some of this beaver tail. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what to expect it uh like I said when I was cooking it up it looks a lot like uh, bacon fat and uh, everybody that has told me about it that, that's tried it told me it tasted like beef fat which I do like beef fat so bottoms up they were not kidding I'm not kidding. Wow. Okay, man. I'll tell you guys. Like I said, this does not... It looks like bacon. It looks like bacon. But, this 100% tastes like quality beef fat. crazy that is just crazy I don't normally do anything with my beaver tail but I'll tell you what from now on I'm gonna be saving it and cooking it up because this is darn good I am not joking guys if you haven't tried it already try some of that the tail off the back of the beaver um, it was kind of a pain to skin out but this does taste like good beef fat Excellent, guys. <laughs> LT Outdoors has been brought to you by RBM Jigs and Lake Effect Lure Co. Everything for the serious ice fisherman. Sportsman's Connection. Mapping the outdoors since 1992. Wellman's Bait and Tackle. Check them out in Oscoda, Michigan. Cowboy Coffee Chew. A cup and a pinch. Crooked Bend. The leader for food plot mixes here in Michigan. And Bass Brother Lures and Baits on Facebook. Excellent trapping lures and baits. And Shelly's Shirt Shack, where all the LT Outdoors merchandise is made. 